BBC School Report at St Edmund's Catholic School in Dover. My name is Paris and I'm in Year 9. My name's Joe and I'm also in Year 9. The Golden Jubilee celebration at St Edmund's School. I'll now take you to our news team who are on the story. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm Bobby. I'm Sasha. Interviewing the Governors. Boy, so many things we could do. Um, well, 50 years is a long time for a school to be open, uh, and the school was built for 300 children. Um, it started in May, so I think the first thing we should do is celebrate with our staff in May, and also with previous staff and previous uh, students. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to have an open morning uh, on a Saturday, uh, that's the 12th of May, we're going to invite past uh, students, past staff, if they want to come round, have a look at some of the archived uh, materials, pictures, old pictures, videos, etc. Um, then they can come and do so. They can have a tour of the school, see how it's changed. Um, and so that's the 12th of May. Well, I guess one of the first things is, of course, it's a Catholic school. That's one of the main characteristics. Everybody says strangely they come into the school and visit. They say there's a very good atmosphere. And therefore, when you've got a school like St. Evans, you have to actually shout from the highest hills and the rooftops about what a good school it is. What their talents are, you have high expectations of them. And that then throughout the time in the school, you get each one of them to find out who they really are, where they want to go to, and what they want to achieve in life. And the staff of the school, and everyone associated with the school, and led by the governments in many, many ways, that's what we set out to do. To the Golden Jubilee team. Oh, we have a special sports report now on the London Olympic 2012 Games. This is Jake and uh, we're just about to film Mr Warden, the head of PE, and uh, Mr Cannon's assistant head teacher in the uh, press conference room, and student Sophie, uh, a trialist Olympic. But are you looking forward to the Olympic Games? Uh, yeah. Very much so, uh, looking forward to the Olympic Games. Obviously, being in London, fantastic opportunity for us, and hopefully, the uh, whole country will enjoy it. Yeah. Not just the Olympic Games, the Paralympics as well. Yeah. The nice thing about being in London now is the fact that we can watch it in normal time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh... <coughs> uh, what events are your favourite? Uh. Um, I think the cycling is the one that's perhaps one of the most exciting things that come through recently, certainly with a lot of British, very much British interest in it. Yeah, I would look forward to the cycling development. Uh, I think I look forward to swimming. Really? Of course, I'm still on, so you know. Um, yeah, similar to the At the end, the rowing as well is probably one we look forward to since we've had success in it recently. But uh, I must admit, I'm looking forward to seeing you saying goal. To see if you can get a 100 and 200 gold medals as well. School report in 2012. I hope you enjoyed it and you tune in with us next year. My name is Paris. My name is Joe. And we are signing out. That's the way the cookie crumbles.